pangram. What? I'm delivering you a pangram. How did you get in my house? This is missing an F. That was a dumb idea for an intro. We haven't even explained what pangrams are. I know. I Nobody just, will get the joke. I didn't have any better ideas. You've had four months to think of a better one. Shut up. Okay, fine. Just start the video. Yeah. Just... Wait, close your editor for continuity. Pangrams. Basically, they're sentences that contain every character in a language's writing system. For English, that's just A through Z. The one you're most likely familiar with if you use or used Microsoft Word is the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This sentence works perfectly to display all the different characters of the alphabet in a nice short constructed sentence. It is by no means the shortest pangram, however. It has 35 characters, not including punctuation. And wordplay enthusiasts have created much shorter ones, including pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs, which has 32 characters, or black sphinx of quartz, judge my vow, which has 29. Now, I've definitely seen a couple of things, meaning I've seen two Reddit posts, about how the latter should replace the quick brown fox as the go-to pangram. But, OBJECTION! In defense of the quick brown fox, it has a tidbit of history behind it. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. The earliest use of this pangram was in an article published in the Boston Journal in February of 1885, the same day this man was selling sets of teeth for $10. Anyway, the article encouraged teachers to use the quick brown fox as writing practice for their students. As mentioned before, it was short and had simple words, and soon it was popularized by a few other publishings as a tool for education, including teaching Boy Scouts signaling and eventually typewriting. It also became commonplace to use the sentence to test communication equipment, and in 1963 was even used as the first message sent over the Moscow-Washington hotline. And before you make the argument that the Sphinx Pangram has fewer characters and so we should all just save some money on printer ink and use that one instead, just a reminder there are even shorter pangrams. In fact, in English there are pangrams that are exactly 26 characters long. This means that it uses each letter of the alphabet exactly once. These are called perfect pangrams and in English, they suck. Bloody terrible. They are either full of abbreviations, and that kind of defeats the whole point of wordplay, like the sentence Vex NFL QB Drug Zip Was Jock Myth, which was a bitch to record, or they contain words that would only be familiar to someone who's way too into Scrabble. I'm not making fun of you, it's just the sentence Velt Jinx Grimps Walk Jal Buck sounds like I'm in medical distress. However, in other languages, Japanese kana for example, perfect pangrams do exist. The Iroha is a poem that contains every character of the Japanese syllabary exactly once, and until the late 19th century, the poem was used as the ordering of the kana, kind of like our ABCs. And note that pangrams exist in most written languages, whether an alphabet like English or Spanish, a syllabary like Japanese kana or Cherokee, or an abjad like Arabic or Hebrew. There's quite a few examples of pangrams and even perfect pangrams in most languages. And a quick aside, I'm an American, I barely speak English fluently, so I'm not going to try to butcher anyone else's native language, so I will leave a link in the description to a huge list of pangrams in all of these different languages. I don't know how long the list is, it's a long list though. Certain languages, however, are logographic, meaning each word is represented by a symbol or logogram. Written Chinese is a great example. While it may be technically possible to have each of the tens of thousands of logograms in a sentence, it's not really reasonable. Alright, there is one more type of pangram that I want to talk about before we never have to discuss pangrams again. Hopefully, I am tired of saying the word pangram. They're called phonetic pangrams and they are sentences that contain every single phoneme, or individual speech sound, in a given language. For English, think long and short eyes, or t and ch, I don't know, mouth sounds. Anywho, the sentence, the beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, until she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted, contains all 44 phonemes of the English language, which means... Hi, this is Future Editing Nathan. 
Originally, I was going to cut that sentence up and make it say, this could technically be cut to say anything. Well, it probably technically could, but it sounds like crap. So we're just going to move on. Sorry about that. That's it. That's the end of the video. Really? Yeah, you kind of failed on the editing portion of it. So now we have to do this stupid bit. Well, that's a bit anticlimactic for the ending. Do you have any better ideas? Hmm. It would be jazzy to finish on an excessively quirky pangram. Ah. Ah. So hopefully we'll have another video out by next Friday. Uh, that's the goal. I'm going to say it on here so that way, um, that way I have to do it, right? Uh, three, two, one. So... That was a lie. Uh, I'm not going to make excuses. I failed, but I'm back. Uh, I will be trying to release a video every other week. Hopefully we can appease the great YouTube God. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about in these outro screens. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. It's around here somewhere. I was going to talk about Elemental P by Mark Dunn. Um, it is a constricted writing book, and it kind of relates to today's topic because the quick brown fox pangram is kind of central to the plot. Um, it's an okay book, um, but I, I find constricted writing pretty cool. Um, let me see. So like in the beginning, they have all the letters of the alphabet, but as the book goes on and as the plot progresses, um, they lose letters and stuff like that. So eventually they're down to these letters and it keeps getting smaller. But yeah, Elemento P by Mark Dunn. You have half an hour until your dinner. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go have a beer.